Howdy folks, I've got two thickness planers in the garage today. Uh, this one came in last week, and before it even arrived, I'd already sort of, you know, made my mind up. And looking at the two now, uh, if I was going to buy a thickness planer right now uh, for the bang for the buck sort of thing, uh, I would actually buy this one. I didn't expect that answer, not from me anyways. Uh, I'm kind of funny about the thickness planers and quality and whatever, but we really need to take a good hard look at both of these machines because they both have features and this one has features that this one does not. But this one has features that this one does not. So, wow, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Mm. So the first thing we need to know is the number of blades because that's gonna that's virtually gonna control price and this one is so much cheaper in price that I thought it maybe it's just a two blade or something. It's not. It's a full three blade planer. So is this of course. So that put them on the same level right there. That was kind of a shock. Okay so uh, as far as thickness planers go, the width here, that really didn't concern me too much but it's nice to have 12. Well this is this is 12 inch. Exactly, 12 inch, yeah. The Vivor is, actually has an opening here at 13 inch. In other words, up to over 12 inch could go through the planer. Uh, the next feature I wanna talk about is this right here. I have a lot of trouble with this scale. It's a black on the back, yellow of course on the front here, and it has this big red arrow, but the metal arrow is away from the scale quite a bit. And at times it's a little bit hard to read. So we'll go over to the Vivor. Vivor's machine has a really nice white background scale with black, a lot easier to read, but it also has this nice red line scale here where you can get a really nice accurate reading on it. Yeah, it's kind of a surprise. Uh, that, I like this better than the DeWalt. Talking about dimensions, <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna throw you because the height of the machines looks different in the camera, but this will go up to six inch. This will go up to six and a half. Huh? I'm a DeWalt fanboy, so I'm having a little trouble with this myself. Yeah. Well, this next feature, if you're not getting a little surprised yet, let's let's go into some shock feature here. Uh, this is a single speed. You turn it on, it screams, it cuts, it does it. That's it's it. Okay. Over here on the Vivor machine, however, we have this right here. It's a two speed uh, system for planing. Yeah. Two speed, one speed. Huh? Yeah. Okay, this is the number one complaint about the DeWalt that uh, I knew about that actually before I even got this machine in here. I already I'd heard about it and I have suffered it many, many times. This plate, uh, I put wax on it even, but the steel plate to this plate to the one behind it, the wood has a tendency to sort of stick to this and a lot of times you'll have your, your lumber will hang up and stop in the middle of going through the planer. And that makes it a, that just makes a mess. It's a, it makes for a nasty day, especially if you have lumber. Like I was running hardwood through this a couple of weeks ago, and every piece I had to use a stick to push it through to help it through because it kept sticking to this and not sliding through. Uh, it's a problem with this particular machine. The contractors all had the same complaint, and so I've never been real happy about this. But there's actually two problems with this. We'll get back to that. But right now, let's go over to the Viver and see what they have. So the Beaver has a very short plate with only two high spots here, and it's a painted surface, which you can put, again, a little bit of wax on this to help slide through, but it has this right here. It has a nice roller start to help the wood roll through to go through the planer. I think this is actually a better design, and when I put it up, of course, it goes, it, it'll go up out of the way when I want it to. This is something that I think uh, the planer, the DeWalt should have had is something like this idea. Yeah. Yeah, we're going up on top. The This is kind of a rough uh, top from DeWalt, and when you finish running your board, you end up grabbing the board, walking around to the front, and start it over again. I'm not quite sure how this works, because in production mode, this would probably be great. You've got two rollers on top, so you can put your board back up here, roll it back to the front, and run it through again. I uh, really don't know too much about why how this happened, but... Vivor apparently put some extra thought in here and said, let's put some rollers up here and they can roll the board back and run it through again. Because a lot of times when you're planing, I'll, uh, I'll plane two, three, four times through sometimes to get 
you know, the thickness and exactly what I want for finish and stuff, especially if I'm taking some old paint off or something, I'll run the boards through carefully, but I will come down to the board very slowly to just get the paint off, get the, you know, get the grain showing pretty, and that's, you know, that'll do the trick. The DeWalt doesn't have that feature. It just, it just doesn't have it. Yeah. And the other last word here, up on top, <laughs> the uh, adjustment here for going up and down, the this is okay. It feels okay in the hands. It's not great, but it's it's all right. It, it does the trick. I like the DeWalt a little bit better this way. It's, it, I think the handle's a little bit nicer as far as that goes, but you know, because of the price difference in the two machines, I'll gladly pay less and take the little roller. I can always 3D print something else, right? <laughs> Another feature on the uh, Vivor machine is we have this key, key lock, which can be removed so that you can uh, stop anyone from turning the machine on and off from you. Uh, DeWalt, nothing. There is no lockout key. Uh, boy, I really feel like I'm bashing DeWalt, but there is a couple DeWalt features, like I said, I'm gonna show you that are better than the Vivor machine. I guess the next thing I should point out is uh, all metal construction on the Vivor uh, thickness planer. <sighs> Plastic. Yeah, I'm not fussy on it and I kind of like an all metal machine in my shop. It just feels like a more professional machine. When you've got plastic like this, it feels like uh, consumer grade. So down on that one. Now, let's talk about something that DeWalt does have in features that this one don't have. The uh, DeWalt, once you set whatever amount of planing you're gonna take off the lumber, you've got to push this bar down and it's, it takes two hands, but that locks it in so that it won't, the head won't vibrate or change or something on you when you're planing. Uh, the Devor is a nice machine, and but it doesn't have a lock, so there is no lock. So once you set your function, hopefully it, it maintains that, that level of planing. And I'll tell you confidently, uh, this will probably hold whatever setting you have when you're using it. It probably won't vibrate out or something, but this is sort of a, Ah, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but at the same time, it is a lock. And that that's, might concern somebody over time using it. I don't know. That's that Comment in the you know, section below about the lock, maybe. Also comment about the plastic, how you feel about plastic. I'm an old school guy, so metal always makes me feel like I've got an industrial machine versus a consumer machine. Now on the DeWalt, this is probably about the only real outstanding feature that sort of threw me because Viver doesn't have it. And I, I checked and I, there's nothing on there. Is this little sensor gauge right here. And it's not great because it's a little metal tab right here and you catch it with the lumber like that. And you can see the little red arrow came up a little bit. It's, it indicates that it's set well enough to take uh, maybe 130 seconds or something off the lumber when it goes through. A lot of times this is pretty inaccurate. It'll show me that uh, it's gonna shave a certain amount off and the board will go through and the blade never even touched it. Yeah, but it's still something. It gives you some kind of reference. The uh, Beaver machine, let's see if I can pull that out of there. Beaver machine on the other hand, doesn't have this feature. So that's, you know, is that worth a couple of hundred dollars? I don't think so. Okay, so on the Vivor, we don't have that little uh, handy gauge thingy. We just don't have it. But uh, as you're running your lumber through or you're gonna work with your lumber, you can put your lumber in and you can bring this gauge down. And if you work off of this gauge, you sort of have the same feeling for, you know, taking things off. But the other cool thing is you're in like, like in this case here, I'm in the center of my rollers and I'd like to have even wear uh, across the machine and not always be running off this one side using that little gauge that um, DeWalt has on it. So in some ways, this is just fine with me. I'm not saying it's better. Uh, DeWalt, like I said, has three features on their machine that I think are better than on this one, but that's where I'm gonna draw the line. Everything else about this machine seems to be better. They also both uh, are rated up to about one eighth uh, passes with uh, you know a medium lumber going through. So there's no change in the rating there, but it is wider. It can take a little bit bigger bite and it has two speeds. So there is some features here that really caught my interest and said, wait a minute, this is not, you know, a subgrade machine or something. This is actually, and it's also consumer and professional rated from Vivor. So yeah, it's actually a really decent machine. Okay. Another feature difference. This is an odd one, but you know, it, 
this is a headache. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down. This is the back of the machine, and DeWalt gives you a great big uh, coupling that sits back here for dust collection or well, sawdust. And it's so bulky that when you install it, you can no longer put this plate up and it becomes a problem because when I want to store the machine, I want this machine stored like this. So I'm not gonna go in and out of there to remove that, so I just run without it and then I have to clean the mess up afterwards. Yeah, not good. <sighs> okay, we're at the back of the Vivor machine now. And remember what I just showed you on the DeWalt. The dust collector's already here, it's installed. It doesn't have to be removed or something. It doesn't, it doesn't affect this from going up, so. Yeah, definitely better, yeah. Okay, both machines come with a cord that's about the same length, so no biggie there. Uh, this is rated at 15 amp at 110 volt, and this one here is rated at 2,000 watts, which is actually a little on the heavy side, so we should be around 15 amp. Both motors seem to have about the same ratings. Probably made at the same company, but shh, you know, don't, shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, we're gonna hear the difference. I'm gonna fire this one up, and I'm gonna leave the microphone the way it is and uh, I'll run the microphone for both machines so we can just hear the difference here and just see, but. That was a DeWalt. And now. Wow, the uh, Viver has a slightly smoother uh, sound as far as running goes. And it also has a little bit, it's not quite as loud as the DeWalt, which is, uh, no, that's okay, you know, all good. I'm gonna provide a link in the description below where you can find this, the Vivor machine. Uh, also, there should be, a, there'll be a coupon code to get you a little bit more off because this retails around $399. I just checked Home Depot this morning and they didn't have any in stock, but this retails for $549. And I, I'm sort of noticing I'm having problems finding this one for some reason. I have a funny feeling that the DeWalt, maybe they're changing models or they might be getting rid of this one pretty soon or something because it, it, uh, Lowe's used to carry it and I couldn't find it at the Lowe's store this morning at all, listings. So it was like, well, that's really weird. But uh, 549 plus tax, uh, 399 less a coupon deal. Yeah, it's a heck of a lot cheaper machine to buy, but the features of this one was really what really smoked me, I guess, because I really wasn't expecting a machine that could compete with this one here. And found that, you know, they both are good machines, but for different reasons and different uses. Now, all that said, let's talk about one more thing. This one here weighs 63 pounds, so it's pretty heavy and, you know, getting and moving around. The DeWalt is 80 pound. It's even heavy. It's very heavy. And most of it is this base they've got on here. So again, you maybe you're paying more to get a bigger, a heavy base on the machine or something. I, I don't know. The uh, Also, this one comes with some tools where you can work with your uh, blades when it comes time to switch your blades around or sharpen them or do anything. The DeWalt doesn't come with that. So your DeWalt says uh, you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But stay, they're both good machines, and they were both playing really well with three blades. Now, next question, okay. And I, again, I hope maybe we'll get some comments in the description below, <laughs> comment down below. I pull up with a pickup truck now, that you've seen all this, and I say, okay, here's the two machines. You can either have this one, or you're gonna have this one. Which would you take? My money says you would probably take the DeWalt because of the brand name, but if you're really looking for a nice machine in your shop and you really want some of the features that you saw today, you'd probably take the Viver. And if you had to buy one of these machines, I would assume, like me, I'm gonna take the cheaper way out of it. Uh, I want the three blade, but I'd rather have this one right here. Yeah. So Vivar, wow, you won, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> now we're at the big moment here. Uh, I've measured this board as three quarters of an inch. So I've set the scale over here just below three quarters of an inch. So we should just take a nice bite off the top of this. And uh, I guess we'll find out and see. We're gonna find out if this scale is as accurate as it appears to be. It looks like a nice scale, I like the scale. So let's... let's... <laughs> Really good. Uh, there's one thing missing here, and that's the 
the snipe. I don't know if you're familiar with snipe. Snipe usually, uh, a lot of times a planer, towards the end of the board or something, it'll kind of like dish it out and make a mess on you a little bit. But uh, there's virtually uh, almost, yeah, there is no mark of snipe on this thing. And it did a nice job of, you know, cleaning it up, of course, taking the top off. We just barely shaved the top. But that was just for demonstration purpose. And you saw that board just walk through there like, uh, huh, like nothing. <laughs> Well, I hope that helped a little bit, guys, uh, and hopefully it opened your eyes to the possibilities of machinery from Vivor. Uh, apparently they have some nice stuff. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, that's my vote. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. <laughs> and more content coming, always. And in the meantime, I'm out of here. Over and out.